Hey YouTube! So today I'm going to be doing a video on um, my newest snakes. I know I've been gone for about uh, six months and so that's been a while for you guys. Um, I'm really sorry and I just want you to know that I didn't forget about you. Um, so the reason I'm looking down right now is because I have my newest snake. Um, she's actually quite aggressive. Uh, she is a Vietnamese Blue Beauty Rat Snake. She is very large. I'm going to try to hold her for you guys just so you can see how big she is. So this is her. Her name is Colbat. As you can see, she does bite. Um, I normally use a hook with her, but I needed a hand to uh, start the video. So um, these types of rat snakes grow to be about 10 feet long. As you can see, she's quite large. It's a nice sized female. Um, I'm going to be breeding them, actually. Um, I have a small male. Um, named Bandit, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. But Colbat is just aggressive because she is wild caught, and so she really doesn't know that humans are going to hurt her. So I'm going to try to bring her up closer to you guys just so you can see her. Um, that's her. She's really blue, as you can see. She's one of my favorite snakes I've ever worked with. And so I'm going to go ahead and put her back now, but I needed to have her out before the video even started because she's just a little bit aggressive about coming out of her cage. Okay. And so, obviously you guys are going to want to see my male. And so, my male blue beauty snake is right here. As you can see, much different than the adult form. Uh, they're greener. Uh, they'll turn blue at about a year old. Bandit here was born in June, and so I got him when he was a week old. Had his first meal. And so they look a little bit different, but they have the same beautiful pattern and uh, these guys will turn a silver blue like the one you saw in the beginning of the video okay so that's band oops and so my next animal I want to show you guys is something that I got for the purpose of education um, these guys are very common in Connecticut but I really wanted one to teach kids about native amphibians so here you are as you can see Oops, didn't drop her, but she's very squirmy. Um, she's not quite used to being handled, but she is a uh, spotted salamander right here. And uh, her name's Spot, very original, I know. Um, and Spot eats crickets, and I'm going to be doing care videos on all the new animals you see very shortly. I'm going to be doing um, weekly videos every Thursday. Um, so this is my first one. It's my kickoff. And I'm doing it from the selfie version of my phone, Mostly because I don't have a camera anymore. So, my next animal I wanted to show you guys really, 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 really badly is something called a Taiwan beauty snake, which is very different from the Vietnamese beauty snake. Here we go. So, um, this is my female. I'm not going to show you my male just because he's in shed. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, guys. The videos will be better next week. Okay. So... Here she is. Um, her name is Isabella. She is a Taiwan beauty snake. These guys are much commoner, much more common than the uh, blue beauty snake, just because they're m widely sold. Uh, more than likely, these guys were wild caught. I'm never really sure. Oops. Okay, so my next cage that I want to show you guys um, is something called black rat snakes and water snakes. Um, these guys I got from adults. They hatched them out and I actually, if you go follow my Instagram at Christine's Critters, I post daily photos. So you might think I forgot about you guys, but no, I didn't. I just kind of moved to Instagram a little bit more. And then I finally noticed that YouTube is really like my main source of attraction. Okay. And so I'm just going to compare the two really quickly. I just had to pull out two of my um, nine water snakes and four black rat snakes, which wasn't easy. One of them just knocked over the camera. I'm very sorry. Um, okay, so here's my uh, northern water snake. As you can see, really little. Um, has a kind of uniform shaped head. These guys are found all throughout the northeast. And then here's a juvenile black rat snake that I have. Um, both are babies, and this one... The water snake will get to be about four feet long. Meanwhile, this one will get to be about six feet long. Um, these guys eat mice. These guys like to eat fish and frogs. And so I have nine water snakes and four little babies. 
And I hatched them out this summer. And I'm actually pretty excited about it because they're one of my favorite types of native snakes here. And then my last but not least uh, newest animal. I don't know if you've already heard him. I'm just walking in here. This is my bedroom. But um, my last but not least newest animal is Maverick. Uh, Maverick is a caucus heel. He was a rescue. Um, nobody wanted him anymore. And so I took him. And as you can see, he's an absolute sweetheart. Um, I can touch him and he doesn't really bite me. Um, these guys make really good pets and I will be doing care videos on him. Mwah! And uh, he's one of the best animals I've ever had besides Theron, my falconry hawk. But uh, anyway guys, um, I'm going to be posting weekly videos. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. You can either, uh, or you can uh, send me a DM on uh, Instagram, which is Christine's Critters. Uh, I'm so sorry for being gone for so long, and I really hope that uh, you guys didn't forget about me. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks, guys.